Swing low. Sweet cherry. Cherry Coming forward and carry me home. <laughs> Take him home, please. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's Corbin. I'm Rick. I actually don't know the other words outside of swing low, sweet cherry. Swing cherries. low, sweet cherry, a heart coming for it to carry me home. That's that's it, pretty much. <sighs> what made you think of that? Uh, your mother's breasts. Perfect. Me too. Uh, Weird. Uh, today we're doing a movie review. And it's of the 20... No, 20? Wow. 19... <laughs> 2085. <laughs> the first channel to review films from the future. Because of the... That's the juicy content we're always talking about. It's because of the discovery of fusion that just took place here in the United States. That's we true. now can do reviews of films in the future. You're welcome. The world. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, Shah Rukh Khan has a banger coming up. Truly. It's amazing the shape he's in at 102. <laughs> Today we're doing a movie review of the 1982 film... Yes. Moon, Moonjaram Pirari. Pir yeah. How would you say it? Mundram Parai, which oh. apparently means the three crescents, I think. Or in Hindi, it's Sadma, which they made with the exact same cast and crew, uh, I think one year after this one was made. I'd be interested to um, see the differences. See the differences. See the differences yeah. in them. Um, but it's uh, obviously, we've been told to watch Sadma or this one for a long time. We go with the original. That's what we just like to do. All the actors in it, all the filmmakers are Tamil. So we went with the Tamil version. Yes. Um, Which I think would make Tamilians happy. I would assume. Yeah. Uh, and it's directed by... Yes, directed, written, and cinematography by Balu Mahendra. And uh, composed by Raja Sir. Sir. And starring a few little unknowns, uh, Kamal Hassan and Shridurvi. 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 Yeah. Uh, S. Ridavi. She might go somewhere someday. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, she'd play a great mother in the future, I think. I think so. I think so. <laughs> Anyways. And something about the English language. I don't know. It's weird because there's two weird. It's like there's an E and a V. We've seen films from know. the future. We yeah. told you. Yeah. Anyways, it'll be 100 Trans for the View. It came out in 1982. We saw it on Amazon. Sadma. I, I, this is one I think most people have seen. Yeah. This one or Sadma. And we've, we've the, known about this film for. For a long few time, few years, I think we wrecked to the scene from. I, don't, I think it was Sadma that we actually. I think saw it was scene. the Sadma scene. And yeah, because I was waiting for it in this. I was like, "It's not here." It's because yeah. it's in the Hindi version. Yeah, it's in the Hindi version. Anyway, so once again, it'll be hundred percent spoiler if you haven't watched it. Go watch it. Come back, Rick. Your initial thoughts, please. Mixed bag that I ultimately liked. Um, the, the mixed bag we'll get into in some of the the deeper conversations, but ultimately I liked it. I particularly liked. Um, I liked the ending scene. I liked the basic plot of the story, even though I have problems with the story as well. I loved and am thankful for the revolutionary runtime of the day because um, it was extremely short for films of the day. And I think it's one of those films that we say a lot when it comes to older films, particularly older films that come from the South, is that I think that this is a film that would be most appreciated by Indians, especially South Indians, and I think it's an important film in terms of understanding and appreciating the history of Tamil cinema and the history of two legends in film, of, of, of Kamal Hassan and Sri Devi. And even I'll talk a little bit about Silk, because she stood out to me as yeah, well. Silk. But uh, ultimately, I liked it, but for a lot of reasons that you have to give an asterisk to in terms of if I'm recommending this film to people, mm -hmm. it's going to be a very different recommendation to a Westerner, an Indian, and a South Indian. Yeah. I'd say, I mean, and a lot of it had to do, the, our copy wasn't great in no. terms of, like, the visual, like, the audio and visual quality was um, not the worst we've seen. Um, no, by but, far not the worst. But uh, not the best either. So, like, the audio quality and the video quality could both have been much, much better. Uh, and maybe it was in Sadma, so I'd be interested to actually see yeah. the differences. Did they have a little more money uh, for the Hindi version? Did, yeah. Uh, what were the differences? Because I was waiting for a, a particular song that we reacted to. 
uh, and I think I know which song it was that we reacted to, but uh, it was very, it was like pretty different. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was just a copy paste uh, movie, mm -hmm. and I think it is, but I think they took some creative, little creative differences. Creative liberties. In, in uh, the Sadma, so you guys can tell uh, those differences there. But ultimately, I liked it as well, especially the performances. I thought it was a really unique story. It is. <laughs> and uh, I was also like intrigued as to where it was going to go, because it's, uh, it's a super interesting, like, so this is a grown woman, a yeah. beautiful grown woman, yeah. and, but she's a child. It had it had a lot of elements that make you go, hmm, when you're watching Big. Yeah, so I had similar feelings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, that's why I was so interested. I was like, are they gonna end up together? Right. Like she's been, he's been treating her like her his child this whole time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I but also but she fantasizing is, about her because she's a woman. She is a grown yeah, woman. It's a full woman. Like body she's not there. actually a child. Right. But she thinks she's a child, and he also has been treating her as a child this entire time. <laughs> what did so you... I was like, I was super interested to see where this was going to go. What did you think? My guess is you were a step ahead of me in this this part of the film. Mm. When he gave her the sari to put on, mm -hmm. and then she came out. Did you know it was a dream? I was because my I was like, okay, did I was like what the hell is going on? I was like, did she just <laughs> did she just change? Like, did she right. get her memory? And also. She now remembers everything, like, right? And then I, after after it was going on, I was like, mm, "This isn't. This yeah. is not real." The minute she I, gave a look, she just gave this kind of look at him of like, "It's a good change too, because it was yeah. a totally different character." I thought, "Okay, yo, that ain't no seven year old girl right there." Yeah, uh, <laughs> I do. I did actually really appreciate that part of the film because it explored the like his challenges. I have a lot to say about uh, that aspect in a minute. Yeah, but. Um, Overall, yeah, I, I really, really in, in enjoyed the film. With I think there was a lot of like technical stuff uh, that <laughs> you can't really get around no. and stuff like that. But let's go in and talk about the performances, uh, most notably Sri Devi. What do you think about Sri Devi? I thought she hit most of the time. There were a couple of things for me that were misses where I felt like she was. This is me being very particular in my critique of her. If That's I'm a tough role watching too. an actor, it is not an easy role. I felt there were a couple of points where she was showing me a seven year old rather than being. Being a seven-year-old, I feel like it's uh, this, and you can tell me it like the laughing, like, hee -hee -hee -hee. like that's yeah. pretty common in India. Like how they, how yeah. some people laugh sometimes. Uh huh. Maybe it's because if it's a dubbed laugh, and yeah. maybe that's adds to like the it this does is strange the disconnected weirdness. But especially in the laughs, I felt the 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 same. yeah. Most it, of the time, I think she did a really, really most good of job. the time. I think she was hitting yeah. uh, everything she needed to hit yeah. properly. But I agree. And it, yeah. and it would be the 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 points where she misses are the kinds of points where um, this happens a lot. And thankfully, my wife likes me doing this. We'll be watching something, and I may just make. It, you'll see something indicative of the fact that I didn't like what I just saw. And she'll say, what did you see? And she's okay with me pausing it and going back. There were a few moments like that where I would have to point it out to you and show you where I believe. And I don't have any way to confirm it. It's just what is being conveyed. It's not translating to me. But those misses were much farther and fewer between yeah. than for the most they're very forgivable when you take into consideration the larger aspect of what she had to do because it that isn't an easy thing no. to make you believe no and it was it was also super like um i'll, I'll get into the story in a, in a little bit but yeah i thought she did a, a really good job i thought her switches were really good mm -hmm. in terms of like the seven-year-old character was a very different character than the one that obviously came out during the the, his dream, yeah, the one that was at the end and the beginning uh, of the actual age of this this woman, uh, and so I, I I did appreciate those switches because they they were specific and um, intentional uh, decisions she decided to make, yeah, uh, that I think worked really well. Um, and you needed to have a very distinct difference when she was in the seven year old mindset, absolutely. Uh, and so I thought. It, for like I agree, for the most part, she did a really good job. And, and, and I, it I, might be also the dubbing. It might be the time that it was made. I don't know. There were some other parts that I do agree that um, I saw her like trying to be a seven year old. Exactly. Um, but yeah, most of the part, I thought she did a really good job. And I, uh, one of the indicators, the, the the things that show you how good of a job she was doing as the seven year old 
was when she did switch in the dream sequence to the mature woman again mm -hmm. because she was doing zero indicating or presenting of the mature woman. But I could tell just by her essence mm -hmm. that she was a woman again mm -hmm. I, I, immediately. Yeah. And she wasn't doing anything to show me I'm a woman now. She was just being a woman, which is why it strikes you in that moment of what the crap's going on because she's clearly changed. Mm -hmm just by the way she's looking and standing. And that transition shows you the depth of everything else she was doing. And again, the, the moments, why they didn't work in those moments could be the dubbing, could be yeah. all those other things. And thankfully they were just a few moments where it was like, yeah. I, I didn't believe that. What'd you think about Kamal? Okay, I can't talk about his performance without talking about something that I love about him that I've noticed in every movie we see, and I, I think I've talked about it in every film, so have you. Um, so first of all, no surprise how um, how grounded the guy is all the time. Yeah. Uh, he just, at a, at, a, at a time throughout all, I mean, I think he's always been grounded. Even when he's being silly, he's still being grounded in yeah. his silliness. He's, like, he's, it's just, he's a very, he looks for the truth in every moment, uh, which makes him a great actor. The other thing about him that's not related necessarily to him as a craftsman in in acting, but the kinds of films that he does. One of the things I'd love to talk to him about if we ever got that chance mm -hmm. would be the consistency with which the movies he did talked about, showed, and celebrated in ways I can't think of anybody else in Indian cinema, sexuality. Yeah. It's a consistent I, through line. In it's films. my. It's aside from his groundedness mm -hmm. and his desire to just do stuff irrespective of. Bo I mean, he's. We've said this. He is an artist. Yeah. Box office is not why he does it. It's about storytelling. It's about what interests him. It's not about whether it's going to be a success. It's this is the story I want to tell. These are the breakthroughs I want to do in technology. And the other thing I absolutely love is how often the projects he's involved in, this one very strongly throughout, talks about and shows sexuality. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah. I it, love that about it's, Kamal Hassan. It's, it's I'd, I'd be too, I don't know if anybody's ever asked him. Maybe, the, uh, we can't be the only ones ever noticed that. Can't be. Um, but like, he show he like, there's more consistent shows of sexuality, sex, mm -hmm. uh, intimacy between people than any other thing. And they also show a lot more usually yeah. than any other thing. It's not just a song number uh, or, or any, even though there might be a song accompanying it, but like you actually see them kind of like almost having sex a yeah. little bit, she, right? She, she straight up is rubbing his heart on with his leg in that yeah. dance. And it's never, the thing I love about it is that it's never voyeuristic. It's, it always feels celebratory. Mm -hmm. Or it's showing you the dark side of something. It's, mm -hmm. I don't ever feel that it's just done for voyeuristic sensationalism. Yeah. I feel like he always has a creative motive behind it. Yeah, I agree. And I thought he did a really good job in this film as well. Yeah. It, like, he plays everything, even though this was more of a straight man character a lot of times. Um, he showed a lot of depth and a lot of, obviously, no, no surprise. I loved his moments where he was being the monkey. I, was like, I did too. Because he did it really, really and well. It was, it was very touching for him to try. That's my, I, my favorite part of the film is the conclusion when he's doing everything he can to trigger her memory. And what he's bringing back are the happiest moments they've had together with the monkey imitations. Uh, and I, I, really, I really saw a guy who was trying to connect with this girl that became his best friend and he fell in love with in the most childlike of ways. I didn't I didn't feel like he was just performative yeah. ever. Yeah, I loved the ending. Yeah, I, I, I did I, too. Because I, I, I was so interested in where this was going to go. I, uh, me too. Because I was like, it'd be weird if he... They got together in the end. Yeah, it's like big. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it works best that they aren't together. Because... You, she thought she was a child the entire time. Even though now she doesn't know, you thought of her as a child. Right. Almost. I mean, obviously there was times which I actually liked the song number where you saw that he was seeing her as a woman, not the child that he's basically Correct. raising her as. Correct. But he was basically her father this entire time. At least he was acting like it. Yeah. And so if in the, in the end he ended up, it'd be a Woody Allen situation. It That'd would. Be weird. <laughs> and, and the film can really be. You can have a whole conversation in this film about. 
the way women are viewed sexually, the healthy ways that they're treated, the unhealthy ways they're treated, sex trafficking. Can you, and his character, I think, is an extremely healthy man who is not afraid to admit that he's having sexual fantasies, but also recognizes he has the willpower to not act upon the fantasies. Mm -hmm. Like when he's, I mean, he had every opportunity to have an affair with Silk mm -hmm. and he chooses the higher level moral ground of not um, betraying a friend who's given him food for five years. Yeah. When his wife is pretty damn sexy yeah. and made it real clear she wants it. You want to talk about her? I do. Yeah, go ahead. What do you want to say? Because no, I have... You, you go, go ahead first. I am... I would you have something The to minute I saw her, I started looking up who is that woman. Um, she gave off um, very... Uh, Reka yeah, she did. vibes mm -hmm. in terms of in terms of her just I thought we'd seen her before. sexuality, um, and I I thought she's perfect for the role. I loved, and I know there's a lot of quote unquote controversy around not only her her past and her career, but her her passing. Oh really? Yeah, um, she died really young, and she died of what was supposedly a quote unquote suicide, but uh. maybe not. It's one of those, a lot of people could say she was murdered and they'd have a good reason to say that. Gotcha. Um, but her, her career, on the one hand, there's a beautiful aspect of her power as a, as a sexually free woman, mm -hmm. but there's also a tragedy in the fact that she was exploited. Mm. Um, and the world probably never really ever got to see the depth of who she could be because even from a young age, she was objectified which I felt our director and the story did a really good job to my view. And I'm not trying to base it on 21st century ideals. I'm looking at it in the terms of where cinema was at the time. It, it didn't feel like she was being objectified. It felt like she was being celebrated. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I was so interested in her character one. Obviously her screen presence was amazing. So yeah, uh, just she's it, sizzling there's more films with her. I know I'm looking at her and she has a ton of credits. Uh, if there's more films of hers that we should watch, please let us know what those should be, obviously down below, um, so we can get to them. And apparently she did quite a bit of quote-unquote, <laughs> by today's standards it's nothing, but back then it was considered soft porn erotica. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, by the by the standards of the day then. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I thought she did a, uh, She was in Sadma as well. I was just, did she play the same character? I guess character? she did play the same character. I, again, I know, I know some of the character. I think the <sighs> grandma wasn't the same. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, from what I've read. Yeah, and some of the supporting parts, like most of the stuff we've seen from that era, they're just... Yeah. They're not... They're, uh, they're, you, you, uh, there's no reason to critique them. But it was them. so interesting to see her character, because I was like, what? what is the point of this part of the story? Because mm -hmm. it was seemingly a subplot to, right. obviously, the, the main plot, but obviously it was showing his character and... Um, also, his, I think, still, like, sexual desire for a woman, um, but also his character of not just going after any woman. Like, the fact that he brought this girl in, even though we're seeing that he's he's a good guy, he's yeah. not bringing her in for any ulterior motives, as, as opposed to he saw this poor woman who clearly has a mental disorder... In a whorehouse, right? Which is, was uh, something I did not expect in the no. beginning as well. I was like, "Did I, her parents just sell her to exactly. a whorehouse?" I'm like, "Okay, explain <laughs> this to me." <laughs> then obviously they did. Yeah, but like, I was like, "What? <laughs> what, what the? Like they were just like asking oh, the doctor what do she's do? doing." So, oh, I feel so bad for her. Sell Put her, her in the hell house. house. <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused for a minute. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I, I was so interested, but I thought she did a phenomenal job. And also, the um, she I would love to see more of her work because I, she gives off great screen presence. She does. And I felt like, and you probably felt the same way, that her her the purpose for her isn't just what it evokes out of him, but it, it depicts kind of... Uh, I think what the... the too often men compartmentalize femininity in terms of that which they lust for and those who they love and not recognizing you can have Hannah Montana. You can have the best of both worlds. You can have the best friend who's very childlike and you play with who also is 
the, her character, the Silk character, someone that is sexy and hot. And uh, I think ultimately, if he could have, he would have blended. If she had been a free woman, mm. and he could have put in the childlike attributes of Sri Devi's character and just put them into one woman, that would have been his dream yeah, girl. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I just noticed my star meter is a little higher than hers. Wow. So you feel good about yourself. Pretty big deal. <laughs> <laughs> We're both in I the know. A, a, eighty-nine thousands. That's really good, considering you've had an entire lifetime to jump ahead of her, since she's been gone <laughs> since ninety-six. <laughs> so, <laughs> bragging rights. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. So I thought uh, they both, all three of them, did a, a really good job for such an interesting story and a unique story. Which, once again, Kamal Hassan just loves doing unique yeah stories um and i love that about him i did too uh and i i, I liked all the songs um it would be super interesting to actually see sadma and see the differences they made i agree are they i would like to see did, that did it are the changes they made for the better of the right. film are they more commercialized or did they subdue some certain things that we liked in the original Obviously, I don't know. Uh, maybe one day we'll see Sadma. You guys can let us know how it is. I know it's the exact same story, but obviously I think they made some yeah. technical... Maybe they had more money. Because obviously it would be the Hindi film industry and they'd probably have more money at this time. Um, and maybe it's... I don't know what this was shot on, but I just I wish the print and audio quality were a little better. Yeah, agreed. But overall, I thought it was a good film. Yep. Uh, so let us know what you thought about this film, which will be our next Kamal Hassan, Sri Devi, and um, Silk yeah. films that we should watch. Let us know what those should be down below. Down.